German chamomile. Oh, that's wonderful. Sweet almond and peppermint. Introducing the hands. Clearing the liver over and round. Locating the occiput line. So, Melissa, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for um, having me. Pleasure. Um, we're having a lovely indulgent day of therapy, aren't we? Wonderful. Oh. So, I'm going to be giving you now an abdominal massage of the, of the stomach. And while I'm giving you a, a massage, I'll of also put on your hands a lovely hand mask and a foot mask to really hydrate and nourish all of your hands and feet. And before we start, I'm going to do some kinesiology with you to work out which essential oils to treat you with for the massage. Okay. Is that That's okay? Wonderful. Lovely. Yeah. So if you'd like to come over to the essential oils. Okay, Melissa, so I'm just going to do some kinesiology muscle testing with you to see which essential oil. Now, bearing in mind, I've treated you a couple of times now, so I'm starting to get an idea of what your body needs, what it likes, which oils it's liked last time. So I'm just going to choose a few here, knowing that information. Thinking maybe a little bit of stress, anxiety, so some German chamomile, some rose, Roman chamomile, or rose geranium, ylang ylang definitely, cedarwood, or maybe some refreshing eucalyptus stegariana. Oh, orange, sweet orange might be nice. Raven Zara has got the same vibe as the eucalyptus stag. Oh, how many are we going to test here? This could be a lot. Oh, bergamot's always a winner. Sweet marjoram. Mmm. That's probably plenty for us to be going on with. I can always go to more. So, can you give me a little finger and thumb? I'm going to try and pull them apart. You're going to hold them together nice and firm and hold really strong. So that's good. That's our baseline. Can you hold an oil and just touch the bottle to you? I'm going to try and pull again and hold. Okay. We don't want that one. I was going to anchor you, but there's no need. So that was sweet orange and hold really strong so that was raven zara happens to be one of my favorite oils <laughs> and hold really strong okay that's good rose geranium and hold yeah another one aren't they obvious so yeah, far it's a big difference so that was steak ariana eucalyptus and hold no, I had a feeling that wasn't going to. So that's Roman chamomile. And hold. Strong. That's cedarwood atlas. Like cedarwood. Do you? Yeah. Have you had it here before? No. Okay. And hold. Ah. German chamomile. So interestingly, oh. you didn't want Roman, but you're happy with German. And hold. Yeah, right. We've got a few now. Do I carry on? <laughs> and hold. Yeah, so we've got seven now. So that's rose and ylang ylang as well. Oh, I've just seen what that is. Ah, oh, okay. That looks so well, a different one. So okay, well, the, the next three are all the same size bottles. So. Okay. And hold. Strong, that's bergamot. And hold. Strong, I'm not going to tell you what it is. And hold. Oh, you've got lots of strength. Oh, wow. So there was only two you, you didn't want today. Your body's quite receptive. We've got quite a choice here. Oh gosh, it's late. So we've got frankincense, marjoram, bergamot, 
Ylang Ylang, Rose, German Chamomile, Cedarwood, Stegoriana Eucalyptus, Ravensara and Rose Geranium. So, what are we thinking? Have you got any preference? I'd love to try the cedarwood. Yeah. Okay, cedarwood. Um, Another couple? I mean, I also love, is it frankincense? What yeah. Is it? I love frankincense. Okay. But the rest, I mean, they all sound lovely. So, so these are both base notes and okay. they are quite heady oils. They're absolutely beautiful and very good for sleep and relaxation. Frankincense also wonderful for br breathing and respiratory, very calming, obviously used in churches historically mm. because it's very good to rid bugs and clear infection. Uh, cedarwood also good for the breath and breathing because as you can imagine I mean they're both trees you can imagine walking in a beautiful forest breathing in deeply and it helps clear the lungs so I think with these oils we need something lighter like either flowery or fruity re refreshing so I'm more thinking of bergamot Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Oh, you're familiar with bergamot? Not really. Do you want to smell it? I'd love to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. So bergamot, I believe, is used in the islands in the Mediterranean, like Cyprus, and it's used in a. Uh, uh, like a sorbet or a sauce that you would have alongside a dessert and um, a bergamot is like a cross between an orange and a lime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it smells lovely. Yeah, it is. It's, well, bergamot is really good for the skin. It's fantastic for psoriasis and dry skin, but it's also, as you can imagine from the scent, very uplifting and fruity and it's wonderful um, against depression and anxiety. It's a mm. real tonic, really helps lift. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. So I'll just mix this now for you. So I've got quite a lot of organic sunflower oil there and I'm going to put four drops of lovely bergamot in there. And three drops of frankincense. Lovely. You can smell it already. And then cedarwood might be a bit slower to perform. This is slightly thicker oil. One, two. There we are. Lovely. So I'm just going to give that a mix and let you smell it on the inside of your arm. See if you like it there. Yeah. I can pick up the cedar wood smell. Yeah. I love it. That's really nice, isn't mm. it? Okay. So, you can imagine that on the abdomen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Okay, so first of all, Melissa, I'm just going to reveal a hand ready for giving you a lovely hand mask therapy. Smells lovely already. Okay, that's perfect. Spreading your fingers out 
Is that cool? That's really nice. Okay, just leaving your hand there for a moment. And giving me the other hand, just revealing it under the towel. That's lovely. Perfect, spreading the fingers. Oh, that's it. Just going to massage a little the mask into the fingers, the knuckles, all the creases. Really nice into the top of the hand while also treating the palm and the wrist. Okay, leaving the hand here. And a little massage. Just going to remove your socks. I'll put them on the radiator. And going to apply these beautiful aromatic chaussette socks. for your left foot. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Very hydrating. It has a little area where you can peel off the top of the sock ready to apply nail varnish. You so wanted. They're lovely. They smell beautiful. And they contain sweet almond and peppermint. A little massage around the heel. Feeling the abdomen, moving your arms slightly just to go under the towel. Lovely. 
now using the warmed sunflower oil with essential oils of bergamot, frankincense and cedarwood. Massaging sides of the abdomen up to the solar plexus and down to the lower abdomen. Just moving your arms slightly out of the way. That's beautiful, thank you. And now introducing my hands. a little tissue around the towel. Introducing the hands coming down and out. is feeling lovely and soft and receptive for a beautiful soothing abdominal massage. Starting with a little effleurage. Smoothing action to envelop the whole abdomen. And then feeling what the, bo the body, the tummy is telling me, feeling for any areas of restriction or tightness. Encouraging beautiful breaths so that the breathing is lovely and relaxed and long. And scooping up the side. Bringing the fascia, the soft tissue around from the back, the lumbar, to the front, and the same for the other side. Scooping and reassuring, always instilling softness and tranquility. And then coming down from the solar plexus, just reassuring and calming that lovely point within us which is connected to our contentedness, our inner self. The solar plexus is like our inner smile. And then massaging overlapping hands softly down the descending colon gently over the lower abdomen and then strongly again up the ascending colon to the liver and across The abdomen is feeling so much better than it has done in 
previous times that I've treated it within the core therapy using the I'm no foo technique. So I'm now just using a little petrissage overlapping hands and fingers up as a star shape around each side of the umbilicus. So this area here is the iliosacral valve region and it's feeling so much better than it has done, so much softer and smoother. Now I'm just going to feel into the spleen pancreas area. It's a little bit tight here, just instilling some softness, some reassurance, calming any tension and congestion. And the same for the area of the liver, tucking underneath the edge of the rib. It can feel a little tender here, but just some deeper breaths and some beautiful, soft, reassuring massage will help instill some equilibrium back to the liver. Yeah, that's better already. That's good. And then back to the effleurage. Just going to get some more oil. And then circling with those fingers again, just tuning back in each time I revisit this technique, it will generally feel softer, more pliable, and easier feeling to the insides of all those beautiful organs. So alternating whole hand, 
firmly, slowly, but very soothing in the direction of the colon to encourage correct movement, elimination, and a feeling of lightness. And then giving the liver a little feeling of purging, clearing, clearing the liver, clearing any waste materials that it's hanging on to. The liver tends to store toxins like medication, alcohol, any drugs, just need to clear that away. There may be pollution. Oh, it's feeling much better. It's bouncing back. It's much softer. And this will have a beautiful effect also on the gallbladder. And stomach, spleen, Houston valve, iliosacral valve, and the wren. Hmm. That feels really good there, like that needs to stay for a little while as it is a Chinese acupressure point. And then the kidneys. and the adrenals. And then out from the abdomen and back in. Again, smoothing effleurage to warm, treat and reassure. to the hands, just going to help remove the gloves, massage again, a beautiful hydration, taking in the last residues of the olive and star anise, beautiful oils and herbs hands will feel and look young and hydrated. Oh, amazing. 
just massaging that beautiful oil down into the wrist. Smells amazing. Beautiful effect of those herbs and oils. Hydrating, soothing, moisturizing the skin. Going through the skin into the blood circulation and helping muscles and ligaments, and tendons of the hand. So just massaging into the palm, around the top of the hand, down to the wrist, circling. And stretching. silky. They feel amazing. Beautifully hydrated. Silky soft and smooth. Massaging those beautiful oils back into the feet. Into the heels. They're lovely and soft, those heels. In step and up to the big toe. A little mobilization.
circle it on the ankle. Oh, a little click. There we are, it's gone. Lovely. Just a little tug and then coming back for a flick. So keeping your eyes closed, just gently take a few deeper breaths. And then gently take your energy down to those beautiful hands and feet and slowly introducing a little movement. Stretching out the fingers, palms, maybe circling into the wrists and ankles. Stretching out through those toes and soles. And then, when you feel like it, circling the shoulders a little in one direction, and then the other. And then, if you feel like it, bringing the arms up over the head for a nice long body stretch. Enjoying that delicious stretch. Oh, and opening the eyes when you're ready to. You okay? Yeah. That was lovely. Oh, absolute pleasure. Have you had a hand and foot mask before? I haven't. And well, I've had something similar on my hands, but never on my feet. Mm -hmm. And I have really, really dry. Oh, so nice. feel them now. Yeah, it's so soft. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. I think with the olive in the oil, it's made them look slightly yellowy, but that's only the olive of the oil. Because oh, against oh. my hands, they, yeah. they, they're looking a little yellow, but I think it's just the mask because it was on for a little while. That feels great. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And your feet too. Your heels are so soft already. So I'm going to ask you to get up in your own time. And then when you're ready, I'd like you to lie down on your front because I'm going to give you a back, neck and shoulders aromatherapy massage. taking three nice long breaths using a beautiful knuckling technique overlapping hand up the sides of the spine and a lovely long spinal stretch moving the other way lovely and the back of the neck, letting the neck go. Relax, 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 let it go. Stretching so that the whole neck area is relaxed. Okay, 
Okay, lovely Melissa, I'm now going to give you a beautiful back, neck and shoulder massage. Are you warm enough, sweetie? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So using the oils of frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot are so good for any stresses and strains, for the breath, allowing the lungs to function to full capacity. Oh yes, the oil is going in really well. Beautiful. Around the hips. the waist, your beautiful angel wings and up and around the neck, so important for overall health and starting off with effleurage. So taking three nice long breaths. And now an effleurage, firmly, two hands including palms and finger weight, up around the neck, including the shoulder edges, down the sides of the back, meeting again, and round. Now each side of the spine. Oh, feeling a couple of little knots in there, which I'll come back to. And it's really important for the spine and therefore the neural system around it. The cerebral spinal fluid, the circulation, etc is all paid attention when treating the back because it's the spine that will govern the health of the torso. If there is any restriction, fixation or subluxation of the spine it will be felt in the workings of the torso, be it restricted breathing, be it an affected digestive system, or even into the reproductive and hormonal glands. And now coming up to the shoulders, using overlapping hand over and round over the shoulder points in a figure of eight pattern up and round
looking, detecting for any issues, restrictions. There's a little bit of tightness in the shoulders, right at the very top by the neck. And then tracing a line under each scapula for the angel wing. So it comes under, across and over. Under, across and over and pushing that soft fascia up and over to push it forward so that we're bending the muscles, stretching them, bending them, encouraging them to release and relax. And then separating the hands to work with thumbs in a petrissage movement in between the scapula, not on the spine, but just each side of it. And then up and over pushing any toxins that have been agitated over to the lymph factory in the chest. And then just working on one shoulder, moving the hand over the top and then feeling into the left scapula over the body of that plateau of the the scapular bone, the shoulder blade, and then pulling up the fascia with one hand while pushing the other hand down flatly over the scapula. It's a nice coordinated movement which brings relief, support and relaxation to the whole shoulder and neck area. And this will help when I come to treat the shoulder and neck area once Melissa has turned over so that I can then work having already loosened and softened this area. Tracing a line of the edge of the scapula I'm just going to use the hand here and bending the elbow, that's it. Lovely. So that the scapula raises slightly as there is a tilt when we bring our hand behind our back the scapula tilts, allowing for a little bit of space under and behind it, so that those toxins that sit there very happily normally can be agitated and moved. Coming back down. And working to the other side. Across the neck and shoulder again and pushing down the scapula using my thumb and venar muscle to push over that flat plate of bone. Placing a line round the edge of the scapula again, 
using fingers to locate and mark the edge. Now raising that arm again. I'm just going to put my hand under the shoulder in order to raise the scapula even more. And then it's so easy to locate and trace the line. Always working with pressure upwards and over the shoulder. Edge and over. Edge and over. Beautiful. And coming back down. And then pushing any toxins that have been released to come up and over. And just relaxing the arms. That's it, lovely. Up into the neck and lengthening the body. Beautiful long spine. And coming down, having done several Effleurage movements coming down to the lower back, first of all with knuckles, using a beautiful knuckling technique on the flat plate of bone which is the sacrum. around the edge and the sides of the hips and then pushing any waste materials up to the waist area down to the sides and back coming strongly up separating Hooking down to the side on the couch and back. Using quite a lot of strength here. And now working on each side of the spine with thumbs. Locating each vertebra and just applying a little strength each side with an out breath or two. Encouraging longer, deeper breaths. This is such a tranquil massage to give, an aromatherapy back massage. It really helps us to come back to who we are. That essence, that joy, that is always residing within us. And when we have a therapy like a back massage with some peace and tranquility alongside, 
just helps us to tune into that essence. Sometimes do this flowing action with fingers and sometimes with thumb pads. It all depends how much I can feel going on inside and the effect that I'm after. And there's a little bit of rosiness there which is good. I'm after some good blood flow. Going to apply a little bit more oil. And a line of fingers out and over the scapula to the armpit. And again. Okay. 
to the flourage up and around. This time including arms to give them some warmth and hydration. Especially into the backs of the arms, the elbows. Strongly up the spine, gently down the arms. sides of the spine and down the arms over the sacrum and a lovely long spinal stretch to finish the back massage Okay, I'm going to hold the towels, Melissa. If you want to take a couple of deep breaths before moving, just acclimatise back into the room. I'm holding the towels, and if you'd like to turn over onto your back, and then I'll sort the pillow area out. Just going to put these warm socks on you. to put um, a cherry stone pillow on your tummy. It's been warming. It's not too heavy. And then I'm going to put a warmed sarong over your body. It feels a little chilly.
turning your head to the side, spreading the oil of the frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot round the whole left shoulder, up to the neck, lengthening, stretching the neck right up to above the ear, and pushing the shoulder down, strong into the fascia of the trapezius, and then a little knuckling, Letting the neck go. Relax, relax, relax. Let it go. And then picking the fascia up between thumb and fingers. Palpating the soft area. Bending that trapezius. Reassuring, letting it know it's okay, it can let go. And then using my thumb down the side of the neck and particularly tracing a line in the front, just on the edge of the throat, there is a line that's perfect to help clear without pressing on the throat and moving the other way. Around the shoulder point and up, pushing the shoulder down, coming round the shoulder into the trapezius and up. And then knuckling around deltoid around the back to the trapezius point and along it soft tissue down using flat knuckles without hurting but just applying and letting the muscle know it can let go and then picking the muscle up between fingers and thumb bending pulling it one way Nice and relaxed and long, beautiful fluid movement, and then pushing it the other way, down, stretching, lengthening, encouraging the breath, and then up into the neck, again tracing a line the side of the neck where there's a beautiful muscular line to locate and then using the length of my thumb to massage into that very strong muscle the sternoclidomastoid. of your head, just let it go, beautiful. Then I'm going to locate the spine low down, applying pressure each side of the spine with long 
index and middle finger. Bringing that stretch up and then locating the occiput with a line of fingers and encouraging the head to drop back down into a neck release. And then a little stretch, lengthening. And now again, repeating the neck lift. Each side. Stretching. Locating the occiput line and then allowing the head to draw back and this encourages space below the occiput in between the cranium and the neck allowing better movement, mobility also allowing free flowing cerebral spinal fluid, lymph, circulation and neural systems so that it can all work effectively and healthily. stretch and just securing the towel for some warmth Sweeping up from the shoulders, the neck, the face and scalp. Each time applying a slightly gentler pressure, coming all the 
my back and off. with the deep breathing. Filling the abdomen with fresh oxygen. And then sending this beautiful new breath down to the toes, souls, the heels, and down to the fingers, palms, and then gently introducing a little movement to the feet and hands. And now, up into the wrists and ankles, breathing deeply, and then bringing your arms out sideways, and for a nice long body stretch over your head. You feel okay? Yeah, really, really relaxed. Thank you, that's wonderful. My pleasure. There were nice oils, weren't they? They were. The smell is so relaxing. Mm. Just really, really puts you into this deep state of like zen. It's really nice. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to leave the room to let you get ready here in your own space. And I really thank you for coming to see me. It's so lovely treating you. Yes. And I, absolute pleasure. And I look forward to the next time already. Thank you. <laughs>